Okay, and welcome back uh, to these videos for Math for Business and Finance and Math Application students. And we're still doing Chapter 1 word problems, the odd number problems. And we left off with 1-51 before, so I'm going to skip on down now to 1-53. Okay, and realize that when you're watching these videos, if you don't understand something, you can pause, rewind, and watch them again uh, until you get it. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to contact an instructor either, either by telephoning us or clicking on the Contact Us button from when you log into your Pet Foster account. Okay, so uh, word problem 1-53. What was the total average number of visits for these websites? Okay, so Orbitz, My Points, American Greetings. Don't mind. Every time I'm looking at these uh, these slides, oh, here's a mistake here, here's a mistake there. Okay, that's just being human and uh, not uh, you know making these professional. It uh, takes a lot of time to create these videos, and I don't go through proofreading when I'm doing them. Okay, so don't mind that. So anyway, what's the total average number of visits for these websites? So first of all, I have to find the total. And then I have to find the average. So when I'm going to total these up, all right, quick thing here, I notice that these are all zeros. So zero, zero, zero. Okay. Now, doing the long math, seven and six is 13, five is 18, three is 21, seven is 28, carrying my two, two and two is four, and nine is 13. And 9 is 22. Carry my 2. That's 7, 10, 25. 5. Carry my 2. That's 4. Okay, so 4 million uh, 528,000 visit visitors. Right? And I have five um, websites, so I'm going to divide that in uh, that by 5. Okay. That's how we get the average. We add up how, however many sites we have, and we divide it into the total amount. So I'm going to do the math over here. Uh, 5 into 4,528,000. Okay, and this is where the decimal goes, right here. Okay, so 5 into 4, it can't go. So 5 into 45 is 9 times. It gives me 45. I have zero remainder. I bring down the two. Zero, five can't go into two, so that's zero. So I bring down the eight. Five can go into 28 uh, five times. And that's 25. Remainder of three. And I bring down the zero. Five and the 30 goes six times. So that's 30 with zero. And since I have two more places, I just put them in. So the average number of visits is 905,600 is the average number of visits. So the total is 4,528,000. 4,528,000. The average number of visits is 905,600. Okay. Next, 1-55. A report from the Center for Science in the Public Interest, a consumer group based in Washington, D.C., released a study listing calories of various ice cream treats sold by the six largest ice cream companies. Uh, six largest ice cream companies. The worst treat tested by the group was 1,270 total cal calories. People need roughly 2,200 to 2,500 calories per day. Using a daily average, how many additional calories should a person consume after eating ice cream? Okay, let's see here. So, the average number of calories... Um, it was, let's see, it was 1,270 total calories. Okay, six of the companies, that's not important. This six companies right now is 
you know, this here is just additional information that is not needed for this particular problem. Remember back in the, the other video I had said, one, I'm looking for information that's directly related to answering the problem. Two, there's going to be, has nothing to do with solving the problem. And three, information that needs to be modified. And a lot of people can get the direct very, very easily and they can say okay they can figure out that that has nothing to do with it but when they come to what information needs to be modified they have a little problem with that because if it's not a number that's directly related they have a tendency to think it has nothing to do with it so they toss that they toss that information out and they don't use it and that makes the problem wrong so as I'm going through this problem here I have six of the world's uh, six of the largest ice cream companies well, this here six has nothing to do with the problem, okay? The worst treat tested by the group was uh, 1,270 total calories. Okay, I'm going to need that information. People need roughly, roughly, roughly 22 to 2,500 calories, okay? Well, this is a, a case of information that needs to be modified, okay? you can't use 2200 directly and you can't use 2500 directly um, for this problem. If you do, you're going to come up with a wrong answer. People need roughly 22 to 2500 calories, so we need to take an average of the two in order to have a number that we need in order to help solve for the problem. So if I have 2200 and 2500, I'm going to add those together and since there's two numbers, I'm going to divide by two, which is going to give me, right, do the math over here. Uh, two and the four can go two times, which is four. Bring down the seven, three. Two times three is six. The remainder of one gives me 10. Two into 10 goes five times, which is 10. Zero remainder, and I have one more zero. So my average is going to be 2350. Okay, that's the number that I'm going to need in order to be able to uh, solve for this problem. Okay, now it says using a daily average, you know, it's telling you to use the daily average. Okay, and that's what we come out with here the 2350. How many additional calories? So if I have 2350 as my daily average, and it says how many additional calories should a person consume after eating ice cream? Okay. Well, after they, you know, when they eat the ice cream, they have 1,270 calories from eating the ice cream. So it's asking me how many additional calories. So I'm going to subtract one from the other because that's the difference. Zero, seven from 15, remember that's two, count my one, and that's eight. Two from two is zero. So I'm going to need an additional 1,080 calories um, to consume after I eat ice cream in order to hit my average number of calories that I need per day. Okay, all right. That was a pretty, a little bit more complicated one, so let me um, go over it again. Always remember we're looking for information that is directly related to solving the problem, information that has nothing to do with solving the problem, and we have to pay attention to information that needs to be modified. If we look at the modified information and we treat it as direct, we're going to get the problem wrong. If we look at it and we say it has nothing to do with the pro with what we need to solve for, we're going to get it wrong. So we have to be very careful when it comes to the modified area. And as I was reading through the problem here, I had six companies, all right, that had nothing to do with the problem. Okay. The worst treat tested by the group was 1,270. Okay, that um, was a direct information. I'm going to use that piece of information in the problem. People need roughly 2,200 to 2,500 calories. If you look at this information, okay, and you can, you're either going to say one that's directly related, and depending upon the number you use, if it doesn't matter which one, 
if you use that number, you're going to get the answer wrong. And if you say it has nothing to do with the problem, obviously, you know, you're going to get the answer wrong. So this is a case of this information, you know, needs to be modified based upon what the problem was asking me for. It says, use a daily average. Okay, so I have to take an, an average between the two. So I add them up and I get 4,700 and I divide by two, which gave me the answer 2,350. Okay, that's my daily average. Now, if I have a, if I'm consuming, you know, the average person needs 2,350 calories per day and we're consuming 1,250, I'm sorry, 1,270, the question is asking how many additional calories? Well, that's the difference between the two because it's additional. And when I take, you know, the 2350 and subtract 1270, I end up with my answer of 1080. Okay. All right. So I'm done with this problem and we'll continue on with problem 1-57 in the next uh, video.